eSpire is uh, one of our more complex projects, but it's also one of our most tested products. It has undergone some of the most rigorous development and testing out of any product we've ever launched. Um, so that gives us some confidence in the reliability of it. There's a couple of different things that you have to make sure in anything that's uh, deck level interactive with kids is that it's, it's safe. So you've got, uh, you know, sharp objects, pinch points, toe entrapment. Uh, and uh, in, in the case of uh, the e spirit design, one of the worries was uh, hair entrapment. You have uh, young boys and girls have long hair. And if you watch kids interact with fountains, uh, they lay on them, they put their they, put their head down in the water, they do all kinds of things, and you can't have the devices trap their hair or grab it or, or pinch their fingers or thumbs. Um, so once you start having a product that moves, that becomes a challenge, right? Um, so we did quite a few iterations. So we have 3D printers that you can see behind you. Um, we, we print concepts and then we test them and we see if it makes sense. And, and so it takes um, several steps along the way of, of sketching. By the time a product hits uh, the field, it has undergone a lot of testing with uh, multiple units. So we don't just test one prototype and then go, well, I hope the rest of them work. Uh, we will be testing anywhere from 10 to 30 units at a minimum and uh, making sure that they've gone through, in some cases, millions of cycles of runtime. Um, We've got a very sophisticated moving part product that has to live permanently underwater for many years. So for that, we uh, we had to do a lot of validation testing. Um, we have, you know, uh, an environmental chamber. We have hot and cold water tanks. We we do a lot of uh, trying to reasonably abuse the product to, to evaluate how long it's going to live out in the field. Um, we, we don't want to just outright break it, but we have to put stresses on it that are above and beyond what it might see every day to try to translate that. We sell products around the world from Edmonton where it can get down to minus 40 to you know, Dubai where it can get up to plus 40 and, and beyond. Um, so those conditions we can replicate we can simulate certain things in an environment chamber, hot and cold tanks, but uh, we can't really replicate the full uh, brunt of, of those harsh environments until the product's out there. And uh, so as a result, we sometimes uh, have to do uh, some more field hardening um, research. One of the things that we rely on is the trust of our clients. We uh, back our standard products uh, that's one of our brand promises and we don't walk away and certainly with a uh, new product we we do the same things